The global decline in the production of conventional or light crude and a projected decline in the production of the US shale oils in the next 50 to 20 years has shifted the focus of the industry towards more heavier sources of petroleum such as the Canadian oil sands which is the third largest crude oil reserve in the world. However, the oil that occurs in the oil sands comes as this thick, viscous, molasses-like sludge called bitumen which makes the extraction process extremely energy intensive and not very economically viable. Now what makes bitumen so thick and viscous? It's a class of solids that remain suspended in the bitumen called asphaltines. Asphaltines are often referred to as the cholesterol of petroleum because they don't want to stay in the bitumen as a dissolved state, but they try, they form these aggregates and fall out of the oil, forming large blockages of pipelines and even underground reservoirs. And this dramatically increases the amount of energy and water required to extract the oil out of the ground, and which has an enormous environmental impact in terms of carbon footprint and tailing spawns. Now to mitigate this problem effectively, we need to understand the actual structure of asphaltines and how the structure drives this aggregation behavior. Unfortunately, no one really knows what these asphaltines look like. For my research, I study the structure of asphaltines using a technique called nuclear magnetic resonance or NMR spectroscopy. Based on the same principles as the more familiar MRI, in NMR, we take the asphaltines out of the vitamin, put them in a high magnetic field, and then record the spectrum generated by this interaction of the molecules with the magnetic field. Now every signal on that spectrum represents a specific chemical environment which give us the pieces of the structural puzzle. In my thesis, I use several different NMR spectroscopic techniques to put these puzzles together and I have proposed a model which efficiently describes the aggregation behavior of these molecules. We call this the island model where the asphaltines have a central core like an island with this attached aliphatic chains. And these molecules then stack up upon each other forming these nano aggregates which again come together at a higher concentration to form clusters. Now this overall process leads to the formation of these giant aggregates which actually block up these pipelines and even underground uh, oil reservoirs. So this fundamental understanding of how asphaltine structure interacting with each other and the oil beside it leads to the formation of these giant aggregates and what are the factors driving it is essential to address a long-standing engineering problem. And not only that, answering this problem will help us develop technologies for the future which will use less water, less energy, and will be more economically viable and most importantly will help us mitigate the problems associated with asphalt, uh, with bitumen extraction and the other environmental impacts that this process has and that we are all familiar with. Thank you.